How is everybody doing? This video I'm just going to show you some of the equipment that I listen to my music on. I've been making lots of videos about music formats, vinyl, CD, cassette over the years and I'm just going to show you some of the gear I actually listen to them on and what each thing does. The heart of every system I guess is the amplifier. This is the Pioneer A307R. This is a nice amplifier, it's got a nice sound. Um, quite apt for the job. It's also connected to my iMac. So that runs through this uh, because I record vinyl onto the Mac. Just the Mac just iTunes open there just with some of the stuff I might be listening to at the time. Here we have the Scarlet Solo that's for recording into the Mac into GarageBand. On top of that you have the NAD um, Bono preamp PP2. This will take an MM or an MC cartridge. Under the Mac here as well there's two hard drives and these are uh, for all the music once it's converted to mp3 and stuff like that as a backup. Also an Omega terabyte lurking down here, a powered hard drive. It's all uh, backed up in parallel to the other discs. A pair of Pioneer HDJ X5s for listening and recording. Okay, on top of the amp we have a Sony MDS JE530. That's a nice mini disc player. It's quite effective, does the job well. Uh, on top of that, we have a Sony uh, CDP XB720E uh, QS um, CD player, which is another nice. Unit. And on top of that we have a Pioneer MJD707 mini disc player. It's quite a good one, uh, very nice design as well. But I don't use that much, it's just for backup. And it does give a little bit of trouble the odd time, but it's okay. On the other side here we have, on the bottom, a Technics SLP550. I love this machine, I think these were from 88. This isn't connected to the amplifier. I just use that with headphones. It's a beautiful player and I think it was a flagship of the range I'd say at one stage. It sounds fantastic. I really love the sound of that machine. On top of that we have a Technics RSBX404 cassette deck. It's a pretty basic cassette deck uh, as a backup again. It's very low uh, time on the heads. Next up is the Pioneer CTS8 one zero S cassette deck. This is a three head machine, high quality, probably one of the best you're going to hear. It's not bad, good enough nick. Uh, it does give a little bit of trouble the odd time, but yeah, it's for special occasions. This turntable is a Rega Planer 2. This is from the mid 90s. Has the glass platter on it. RB 250 tone arm with the uh, Artifan WMS 22. Uh, nice cart, does the job. It's it's pretty high quality. Will be probably better than the 2Ms you get today. Uh, pretty old. Uh, I think these came out in the mid 70s, but they're still still fantastic. This is one of my Technics SLs. This is the 1210 Mark II from 2001. I have two more. I've got two 1200s as well. Uh, this is a beauty. Uh, really is. The Riga probably sounds slightly better. It probably has the edge, but I like the functionality of this. You know, you've got the instant speed adjustment. Um, plenty torque. It's punchy. It's it's just fantastic. Yeah, really like these. There's a Shore white label cart and stylus on there at the moment. Uh, high quality DJ um, cartridge and uh, yeah I like playing around with stuff like that you know uh, I could change the cartridge to something else 
The speakers I'm using are floor standing Mission M73s. I've had these for nearly 20 years. Not a bad speaker. Functional, punchy, they're nice. I like the tall uh, skyscraper look to them as well. This is Mabel, the rabbit. She's done a lot of damage to um, <laughs> some of my things. Um, she can't stop gnawing on stuff. There's another system here uh, in another room. This is uh, one that I just use when I'm playing music because all the music is in this room. CDs, vinyl, the whole shebang. This is uh, an Iowa amplifier, an XA006. And there's a Pioneer PDS701. This was the very first of the stable platter mechanism type. We have a Sony TCR503 ES which is elevated standard and that's uh, auto reverse cassette deck if you're just listening to cassettes records nicely as well excellent cassette machine from 87 another Technics SL1200 Mark II here this one is for listening and underneath that we have a Yamaha AX3 nine six or eight I can't really see this is redundant at the moment but these are fine amplifiers I'm going to get this going as well make up another system this for backup I seem to have you know two or three of everything because good hi-fi equipment is getting harder to get and the new stuff is terrible unless you're going to pay a fortune for it uh, yeah so yeah there's a Concorde on this Ortofon Concorde DJ High quality cart, yeah, really nice. Bright but punchy, yeah, very, very nice. Here's another redundant SL1200. Yeah, I must try and get this back in action. It's working fine, there's nothing wrong with it, but um, I just don't need it at the moment. But uh, maybe it might be nice through the Yamaha amplifier, yeah. There's also another amp over here, a Kenwood Special Edition. Um, what is it? A KA3020. That's redundant as well. Like I said, back up. Once they go, they go, you know. Speakers on this system, there's a pair of Mission 762Is and a pair of Bose 301s. They're Mark IIs. I run the whole lot together. Uh, there's some kick off the system. Blow the hair off your head. There's just loads of vinyl in this room. Um, CDs up here. More CDs. And a few more CDs as well. Not a few CDs here. That's mainly all Miles Davis albums. And Keith Jarrett. More CDs here as well. Oh, Pet Shop Boys, I think, and it's Mike Oldfield, Leo Mac, level 42, and all that. More vinyl here. This one has a, a cover over it uh, because the sun shines in the window. More vinyl in those boxes, mainly 12 inch singles. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and take care.